One more dunk. It was this dizzying, exhilarating rush. Holy shit, I needed that. Oh my god. Probably not the smartest thing. Nobody knows where I am. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the woods. All right, I'm on a crazy run. I am um, having a terrible day. I feel uh, like I'm on the brink of one of the worst panic and anxiety attacks I've ever had. And uh, I was stressed. I tried, you know, doing some stuff to update my website. Look, here's another one. I want to tell a story about these guys right here, the newts. That's about the 17th one I've seen. I haven't seen more than one to two newts every year or two, uh, per year, for probably the last 15, 20 years. Oh, and there's a deer, scared the shit out of me. There's a baby back there too. So, I haven't seen these newts in a long time. And uh, I was, I was so depressed or just stressed and anxious today. I'm, I'm just laying in bed. I never do that. I'm just like giving up today. I can't figure out what to do. My energy is so bad. Um, you know, I just feel it in the in the energetic ether. This panic and anxiety. And I finally decided, screw it. I feel like shit. I'm going to go for a run. And I started running and started feeling a little bit better. Look, there's the end of this. I'm trying to cross this trail, which is completely flooded. We got major... Like monsoon rains the other day or yesterday um, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now all by myself like the Blair Witch so I start running and within a half a mile I start feeling a little bit better a little bit more energized and I just have this call to go out and kind of be in the woods because it does have a profound impact on your energy and makes you feel better I feel uh, as an intuitive, I feel like I have some attachments on me that are draining me, that are weighing me down. And one way to cleanse yourself of those attachments is to get out into nature. So I'm doing this run, and I'm feeling drawn to the woods. And there's a spot at the end of my community that takes you back into the middle of the game lands. And it just goes on for miles in the woods. And as I'm running, I get this feeling like I need water flowing over me and not like a shower. And I know with all the rain we had... There's a lot of flowing water and there's a creek back here that'll probably be flowing pretty hard. And I feel like this draw to get back to this creek and immerse myself in it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared to death to do it because, well, I don't like touching the mucky bottoms of stuff. Who knows if there's glass or snakes or whatever in there. Um, but I just feel like I, I have to do this um, just to kind of get rid of this funk that I'm in. And face that fear. I'm having a lot of memories coming back right now. Actually, I think I'm off the trail. Um, memories connected to writing my book. How years ago, when I first got into serious meditation and looking at nature and animal spirits, I'd go to the same spot in the woods all the time and meditate. And then I'd go to a different spot. And there's a big chapter about this in my book. I'd go to another chapter and I'd meditate. I'm sorry, I'd go to another spot at the end of the trail to meditate. And every time, every time I did this over that summer, there'd be a different animal sitting there waiting for me. I kid you not. It's a really cool chapter. It taught me a lot about my intuitive processes and the communication with nature and the healing properties that it offers. So as I decide, all right, I'm going to go try to find this river and jump in it like a freaking crazy weirdo. Um... <clears throat> All right, look, I think I found the trail again. Getting home is going to be a different story. But uh, I come into the trail, and there's trees down everywhere. It's a real tough trail right now, and mud and muck. And I see one of these newts. And uh, then I see another, and I see another. I tried to take pictures of everyone, and I saw I'm up to about 20 right now, and they were all on the trail. And I really felt like they were leading me in. And if you read that chapter in my book, In Food for the Archons, it talks about you know, the communication and the signs. I think this is the river up ahead. You can't really see it here, but through the clearing. Um, I just felt like they were guiding me in, leading me to where I needed to be to get rid of whatever is affecting me right now because I think it's some kind of energetic attachment or drain that I've got going on. 
and it's been really spiritual just running through and there goes a frog he just hopped away but frogs have a healing medicine as well so seeing these newts guiding me in has been very powerful and healing for me and i already feel i'd say about 65 percent better i mean i felt like i just needed to lay in bed all day but laying in bed was making me more stressed and feel even shittier about myself so i feel like i'm almost ready to rejoin the world so i'm going to see if i can get to that river and do something on the surface logically my mind tells me it's stupid or dangerous but spiritually um, i feel the call and that's a challenge a lot of us face is spiritually we feel the call to do something, but our conscious mind always screws things up for us. That's one of the things we got to learn in remote viewing. Um, <sighs> facing your fear is the greatest challenge on this spiritual journey we're on. And I'm afraid to go jump in this river. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it. I'll see if I get some video of it. But I don't want to navigate this holding my phone anymore. You can see it's just a total bog right now. Bugs are fucking crazy. More to come. All right, part two. I got over the real dicey swamp part. Look, I'm on a fresh trail. I don't know if you can see it, but the grass in front of me is all pushed down right here. It's all pushed down. It's going that way, actually. Uh, away from me, behind me. Probably a deer. Hopefully not a bear or mountain lion. But here's yeah, so I'm, I'm almost there. It's probably 25 meters in front of me. You can't even see it. That's how thick the uh, that's how thick the jungle is in here, mate. All right. I feel like this is the final test. This fear is starting to mess with my head. Um, because the grass is deep. It's up to almost my waist as I'm going through here. And uh, now I start thinking, like, what's lying in the grass that I don't see? Not just ticks, but, like, snakes or who knows what else. You know, now I'm going to the unknown. This reminds me so much of some of the spiritual journeys when you wake up with, like, sleep paralysis and you sense something in the room and you're scared and you force yourself to wake up. I could turn around and go back, but I'm being called to something higher right now. So I'm not focusing on the fear. I'm focusing on the end goal. Oh, I think this is a bunch of poison ivy down here too. Leaves of three, stay away from me. Let's hope I don't get poison ivy. But given what I have been feeling, let's see where this journey leads us. I'm on a little path again too. And here it comes. There it is, friends. Nice little clearing here. It opens up the light at the end of the tunnel. The feeling of success. I was here years ago, and I sat in a, uh, I found a hunting stand out here. Man, let me see. Oh, there it is. It's still here. There's a tree, like, ready to fall on top of it. I haven't been here in probably about six years. But I think, oh, man, this scares me. But that flowing water, moving water is very good for your energy. It's very cleansing for your energy field. And uh, I just feel I need to be in that. But I'm freaking terrified and wish I at least would have brought my water shoes. I'm an old man, right? Let's see if I can work up the courage to just go immerse myself in it. All right. Let's see. All right. I found a spot that seems a little bit sandy. I've actually got my camera set up on my sneakers balancing on a branch I can see the bottom here and then it drops off in the muck Ooh. it's like super slippery Probably not the smartest thing. Nobody knows where I am. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the woods. It's all clay that I'm standing on right here.
I'm going in. Oh, that was, that was crazy. That was such a, um, one more dunk. It was this dizzying, exhilarating rush. Holy shit, I needed that. Oh my God. There's thunderstorm clouds in the distance, too. All right, one more taste of adrenaline. Part of me just wants to stay in here all day. Listen, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, you go in there and I go underwater. And I close my eyes and I feel the current and I'm holding on to a root. I'll see if I can get some footage of it. And my feet keep getting pulled out into the deeper part. It's all rocky and stuff. And it's just so scary, the, the unknown. And, uh, and then now your mind just goes blank and it's just this free floating feeling, this cleansing feeling. Um, and all that fear is gone. And then you pop up and you're refreshed and then you get ready to go under again and you're terrified. And you get under there and you close your eyes and I just feel it. I feel my, the, I, like I said, it's my energy field. I feel so recharged right now. I feel so much less stressed. I want to get out in the middle. I'm, I'm too scared. I don't know why. Maybe if I had something on my feet. But that in and of itself was amazing. It was amazing. I want to say, I always say it at the end of my show, let your intuition be your guide. And that's what I had to reconnect with today. Because there's so much logical shit going on in here from everything going on in the world. We lose not track of this we lose track of this and the connection and this is where you can find that connection right here I used to just go follow my gut before I had all these responsibilities in life and it would take me on these crazy adventures like this and this is the first time in years I've had a chance to just go and follow that energetic pool and it was worth it This is hope. All right, I don't know if you can see in the distance. Let me see if I can adjust the color here. There you go. Make myself dark so you can see. Storm clouds. <laughs> it just adds to the to this awesome experience. Like there's a storm coming, and I'm sitting here floating on my back in a river. God, I'm thankful, man. This was. I can't express how much I needed this. was amazing all right time to trudge back through swamp and poison ivy and hopefully i didn't get poison ivy <laughs> worth it though Peace. one more thing that's cool about this experience if you ever seen the movie crocodile dundee years ago there's a scene where the guy's walking through the woods and she goes how's he find his way and mick says he thinks his way and uh there's some truth behind that I just went through a process like that. Um, I lost the trail because it's all swamp. And yeah, I knew the general direction. I mean, river behind me and keep moving forward. But you get about 10 feet in. I mean, look how thick this is. You spin around in circles. You got no clue where you are. 
So I just tap into uh, what some people call a signal line. You feel it. You think of where you want to go, and you feel I feel it in my chest. And uh, just started walking and literally found a spot in the woods. I said, ah, you know, way down there. I just picked a spot. I want to go there. And I made my way there, and I stood up, and it was a little hill. And I looked down the hill, and right in front of me was the trail. Um, it led me right to it. Uh, so... Something's on. Good stuff. And now I gotta navigate the swamp. I said, empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow. How it can crash. Be water, my friend. Be water, my friend. Water, my friend. My